we are going to be making a freezer meal. This is something that I plan on doing a lot more of. I love having freezer meals, and my goal for September is to fill my freezer so that I always have something ready to put in the crock pot for dinner. I love freezer meals for that reason. You always have something on hand. So if you would like to see more recipes, let me know, and I will be sure to post more on here. Also, my best friend Lacey is making a freezer meal recipe over on her channel. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out another recipe. Also, I will put a link down below for the other freezer meals that I have made in the past. We love them, and I'm super excited about this one. It is delicious, and I can't wait to show you guys how easy it is to put it together. And today we're going to be making taco chicken chili. It is really easy, you only need a few things, and these are the ingredients that you're going to use. You're going to need two gallon size freezer bags, and one is going to be used to put our chicken in, and the other one will be used to put the rest of the ingredients in. You also need cilantro, and this is actually going to be used when you're done cooking your meal, so when you plan to cook this meal, this is just used to put on top of your chili because who doesn't love cilantro? I love cilantro and it tastes delicious. You're not going to add the cilantro in your bag unless you would like to add it, which would be delicious too because it's just going to give it a little more flavor. Three to four chicken breasts and you're going to cube those. I always use four because I have a family of five and we usually eat everything and if we don't, we love leftovers. One onion chopped, one 10 ounce bag of corn, one pack of taco seasoning, three cans of diced tomatoes. And you want to add something to this. There are so many options. I chose to do two cans with diced tomatoes and green chilies, and one can with diced tomatoes and jalapenos. So that's just going to add a little kick and give it a little spiciness that my family loves. One 16 ounce can of black beans, and you want to rinse and drain these. One 16 ounce can of kidney beans, also rinse and drain those. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One tablespoon of chili powder. Putting it together is so easy. We're just going to put our chicken in one of the freezer bags and mix together all of these ingredients right here in the other. Like I said, the cilantro is to put on top when everything is finished. If you like cilantro and you want to add it in, you can go ahead and do that too. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to open up my bag. You can actually get something that holds your bag open for you that is perfect if you're like me and you plan on making a lot of freezer meals. So I'm just going to start by adding my onion, add my corn, and I like to get the baby gold and white corn. Diced tomatoes. And when my bag is about halfway full, I like to kind of mix it around, just to kind of mix those ingredients up. Okay, next I'm going to open my beans and I'm going to rinse and drain those over in the sink. And our beans are all ready to go. They are rinsed and drained. Just going to add those. Our tomato sauce. Our pack of taco seasoning and one tablespoon of our chili powder. Now all of our ingredients are in our bag and we're just going to mix everything together. So you can just squish this up or you can grab a spoon, I think that's what I'm going to do, and just mix it in there. You want to make sure to mix everything up so that your seasonings mix throughout all of the mixture and flavor everything so it's super, super yummy when you put it in the crock pot to cook. If you don't want to use a spoon, just make sure to remove all of the air from your bag and seal it up. And then you can just kind of mix that up. This is probably the best way to do it. <laughs> And that is ready to go. Now we're just going to add our chicken to our other bag. I'm just going to scoop those cubes in there. And then again, make sure to remove any air and seal it up tight. And your freezer meal is ready to go. I love how quick and easy these are to put together. The only thing left to do is to label your freezer meal. If you plan on filling your freezer up with freezer meals, they might all look very, very similar, and it's always good to know what you're going to cook. When you're storing these in the freezer, 
You can lay them on top of each other. You can also staple it here at the top, not through the bag, but up at the top. Or you could wrap an elastic band around them so that you know that they go together. But I usually just stack them on top of each other. When you're ready to throw these in the crock pot, I would put the wet ingredients on the bottom first and the chicken on top. They are going to cook for about six hours on high. Every crock pot is different. Some cook a little faster, some a little slower. So just be sure to check your meal as it's cooking. You want to make sure that your chicken gets cooked throughout. Again, we'd love to top ours with cilantro, avocado, and sour cream. So I recommend having those on hand if you're going to be cooking this. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. I will be sure to leave the recipe and the directions down below. If you would like to see all of the freezer meals that I am planning on making, let me know and I will make more videos. I just love freezer meals. They're so nice to have on hand so that you don't have to worry what you're going to make for dinner. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.